I'm the founder of a company called Sumly that was acquired by Yahoo earlier this year. And I'm here to promote entrepreneurship and youth coding. I think that although uh, there's a lot of young people that are interested in technology and want to create companies and apps, uh, there's not enough people who are telling them how to do it. And so what I'm here to do today is try and teach people that it is possible to create your own application if you have an idea. And that actually with a few simple steps, you can go quite far now today in technology. Well, I founded a company when I was 15 and kind of through two years of tweaking the technology and working with the Stanford Research Institute, for example, we were able to build an iPhone application called Sumly that could take long articles and summarize them. And, you know, we, we launched the application and within six months of it being on the store, we had a million users. And so we then decided to sell the company to Yahoo. And so now we're working at Yahoo in continuing to develop the technology. I think I'm most proud of the fact that you know, 100 million summaries were read during six months because that demonstrates to me that it really is a, a medium of content that people want to consume and it's not just something that was transient you know, for a short part of time was successful and then faded. So I think that that number is pretty, pretty big. No, I think it's really awesome because it brings together so many people from across the world and the most important thing is that the age, kind of the fact that there's a lot of youth represented and there's a discussion, a debate about youth issues and where policy should be had and then similarly people get to come and share their ideas that obviously inspire others. I'm going to be slightly biased and say I want to see policies regarding technology, youth programming and I think in particular bringing, you know, coding onto the, the curriculum that are taught at high schools today because although there's certain subjects that get a lot of weight, there are others such as ICT or technology that don't and there's so much opportunity there. So it would be great to see something weaved into the policies along the lines of youth coding and, and teaching young people. I mean, my message would just be anything is possible and don't doubt yourself and if you have an idea just go for it because there's nothing to lose in doing it.